Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the Cobalt 72 inch work table that you can pick up from Lowe's. This thing is 131 pounds so it's super sturdy, but I would suggest bringing somebody to help you move it, which is the only downside about this whole table in my opinion. And I forgot how much 131 pounds was and kind of overestimated what I could move, but I was able to get it moved on this cart. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Put in the back of our RAV4 because I forgot to drive my truck. And with a little help from my brother, got it to my basement. So let's break this thing open and see what we got. First up, before I assembled it, I wanted to show everybody the type of area that I was putting it into. The nook I'm putting it in is 10 feet long by a little bit over nine foot. So pretty much nine and a half by 10. And the components that it comes with are the legs and the little shafts that they go into, that little piece of tube, and of course the tabletop, which is where all the weight comes from. Then inside the box, that's where we have these two gussets for holding the table nice and steady. Then the hardware and the little Allen key that you need to put it all together. Pretty easy to put together. And I decided to leave the assembly process pretty much uncut. And I just wanted to be able to let this be also an assembly video along with kind of my review. So feel free just to skip this part if you don't want to see how it gets put together. But step one is essentially just putting these shafts in to where you're going to be able to slide the legs in whenever you get them installed. Pretty easy. Next up, you just slide in the legs to the desired height that you want. And when the workbench is set to its highest height, it's at 40.8 inches tall. But since I was gonna be using this for sitting, I decided to put it on the smallest setting possible. The last step is just putting this tube in and then also installing the gussets on the bottom, which I forgot to film. Other than that, that's it. 26 minutes. But if I'd had the right tools, I could've done it in 20. All right, let's flip this thing over and see how it looks. And people of the internet, let me tell you, once this thing was flipped over and I started putting all my stuff on it and using it, this thing is pretty flippin' sick and I love it. The butcher block table is a little over an inch thick and it's such a cool surface to set whatever you're working on. I just so happen to be using it as a computer desk to edit YouTube videos, but it'd be great for anything. I'm really glad I ended up going with a 72 inch option for this table. It gives me plenty of room to be able to plug in my laptop to my monitors, have a mouse and a keyboard comfortably, and also have materials to my left as well. I also went to a local cobbler and picked up this leather mat. I ended up making it 34 inches wide by 20 inches tall, and it's a perfect workspace whenever I'm sitting at the desk. I could put my phone and laptop on it not worrying about scratching anything up, and it also makes a great mouse pad for the mouse. I'm still using the metal folding chair 3000, and I really need to get a better chair. <laughs> But I'm actually just using this for a little bit. It's a little bit short, I wish I had one that was taller. So I decided to take the leveling feet off of the bottom of the legs for the workbench just to get it a little bit lower. And once I did that, the table ended up being 30 and a quarter inches tall, which is pretty standard, I think. I really wanted to highlight once again, the pros of having this thing being 72 inches long. It allows me to put so much more materials over to the left of me whenever I got my computer to my right, but I could put my drone, this knife, I mean, a bunch of other random camera stuff my mascot berry, I could put it all right there to the left of me. And the whole space ends up being 30 and a half by 24 inches. Plenty of room to put a bunch of extra materials to the left of you. Then another little small thing about the table I like, you can use the tube as a little footrest. And I really need to do something about cable organization, but I'm just gonna do that in the future. It would be nice if this thing had some sort of little pullout drawer to be able to put little items and knickknacks in. But all in, this thing only cost me $350. And all the positive things that I've been talking about this whole video, I'd say $350 is well worth it. Overall, I would definitely suggest anybody to buy this workbench, whether you're going to use it as a workbench or a desk. I'm going to use it as a desk for a few more years until I build me a new desk or whatever, and then I'll just take this thing out in my garage. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. God bless, and as always, have a good one. Peace.